companies will hire slow but fire fast. Like when they have the opportunity to get you off the books, you're gone. Yeah. I just bought my first home maybe three weeks before they packaged me off. They knew it. And I'm like, you guys just don't give a shit. I've given you guys the last five and a half years building your business up, doing everything right, training all your people. Just because this prick over here doesn't like me, I'm gone. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. See ya. So many guys are trapped into believing that because they've been loyal, that people will be loyal to them. A lot of guys believe in relationship equity, like they'll put equity into the marriage. They'll go and renovate the kitchen and the ensuite bathroom upstairs and they'll move to the neighborhood that's close to her mom's house. So you can go right down the list of all the shit that guys do for women and only seven years later they find out she's porking Kevin from sales and she's leaving him and the four kids. So much of the pussification of men is based on that. They don't know that it's time to fucking stand up because they don't realize they're alone. Nobody gives a fuck. People will pretend to give a fuck, but no one actually gives a fuck about you. You're on your own. You're dropped off in this fucking world with just you and you got to rely on yourself and if you think that someone else is going to come and help you or save you or make things feel better for you you're full of shit the quicker you learn that fucking lesson that you're on your own the better off you're going to be as a man because then you start solving your fucking problems instead of thinking that someday they'll go away or someone else will come and alleviate the pain from you i feel this way oh that's because you have this 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 Sh shut up Shut up. The world doesn't care how you feel anyway. The world doesn't give a shit. You're either a winner or a loser. You're either going to push to succeed or you're not. We live in a world based on action. It's binary. It's yes or no. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. Nobody's going to wake up and look at Bulldog Mindset and go, you know what, that John guy, he's a good guy. I'm going to dedicate my day to getting John a Ferrari. If you want a Ferrari, you got to make a Ferrari. If I want a Ferrari, i got to get a Ferrari. Anyone who wants a Ferrari has to go get it. This is the simple truth of Earth especially being a man. There's a meme that I saw at one point, people don't give a fuck, and there's two parts to it. And the first one's, you know, got a picture of this guy where he's all bummed down. People don't care about me, nobody gives a fuck. And then the other one, nobody fucking cares. You can look at it either way. Which side of the fence do you want to lean on? Do you want to be the sucky poo doomer? Or do you want to be like the, nobody cares, so cool, awesome. Your own goals and desires are your responsibility. It's not anyone else's responsibility. No one cares. No one really gives a fuck about you. But they care if you're okay. They care if you're well. They care if your feelings are okay. People will not care that your goals and desires are achieved or fulfilled. So if you want something, you have to make it happen. You can't rely on anyone else or anything else. So many people think that things are unfair, it's unjust, as the government's gonna come and save you, some girl's gonna come and save you, your parents are gonna come and save you. No, no one is coming to save you because no one cares. No one wants to help you. No one wants to help you. Why do I want to help you? I'm making this channel to help you, right? This is the way that someone's gonna help you. They're going to create stuff for you that you're gonna to have to take up and do something with. But I'm not gonna to come to your house and help you to make your dreams come true. I'm gonna give you the tools and the fuel that's gonna to help to light the fire in you that's gonna allow you to do that and to give you the capability and the know-how to do that. But I'm not coming to your house to do that. Anyone who's successful in life is probably not gonna have the time or the inclination to help you. And who wants to help someone who's not helping themselves? Why should they help you? What is in it for them? Most of the time when you're getting help, you're getting pity. There's nothing I despise more than pity. That's one of the most destructive human emotions that exists. It destroys a person's character more than anything else in life. And you should never accept pity and you should never want pity. If someone gave me $10 million today, I'd, I'd say no. I want to earn it. I want to have made it. And if someone said, tomorrow I'll give you the perfect body, nope, don't want it, do not. I want to earn it. I want to make my way. What can you do? How can you be self-sufficient? What you got to do is you got to turn the question around and you got to say, how can I help someone else who's in a position of power that I could learn something from? What you should be focusing on is how you can help someone else. You do everything that you can within your ability, and then you find people that are already doing it. Tony Robbins calls it modeling people. It's a great, great, great technique. And you figure out how can you get around those people? Because if you're around those people, you'll absorb it. You won't need them to, quote, help you. And the best way to get around powerful people is to help them. How can you figure out something that you have a value that you can give them? So figure it out, what is it for you? Again, if you're thinking about people just helping you, you're mostly gonna get pity and you don't want pity. What you want is you want to 
be self-sufficient and you gotta figure out how to help someone else and then just to be around them, just to be around them, that's enough, that's it.